Hi, in this video we're going to do a simple example involving what is called an arithmetic sequence. It's not arithmetic, it's actually arithmetic. And the reason is because it's being used as an adjective, a random fact. Anyways, arithmetic sequence. It's fun to say the word arithmetic. And we're going to find the first five terms. The first term is a sub 1, which is 3. And d is 4. d is the common difference. So there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm looking at my book here. This is from my book. Uh, and I did it using a formula. But in this video, I'm going to do it just using some intuition. We're going to do it using the definition uh, of an arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term is obtained by adding just a number over and over again. So we're told that the first term is 3 and d is called the common difference. That's the number that we add. So we need the first five terms. So let's write the answer. The first term is 3. We get that for free, right? They give it to us. So we are 20% done uh, with this problem even before starting. <laughs> so now to find the next term, well, this is the common difference, right? D equals 4. So we just add 4. Well, what's 3 plus 4? That's 7. That's the second term. And then 7 plus 4 is 11. That would be a sub 3. Add 4 again, we get 15. I feel like I'm going to add wrong. <laughs> add 4 again, and we get 19. I don't know. I just got nervous. I go, I'm, just, I'm adding 4. So 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. That's the first five terms. And you can do that because it's arithmetic, right? What is an arithmetic sequence? It's a sequence where each term is just obtained by adding a fixed constant to the previous. It's the same number every time. It's called the common difference. It's called the common difference, by the way, because look at this. 7 minus 3 is 4. When we take the difference, we get 4. 11 minus 7 is 4. 15 minus 11 is 4. 19 minus 15 is 4. So that's why it's called the common difference. The other way to do it, so the way I do it, let me just mention it at least. So the way I do it in my book is I use the formula, okay? And, and the reason I did that is, I, I don't know, but the formula tells you that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is the first term plus n minus 1 common differences, right? n minus 1 common differences. Kind of, kind of a nice way to think about it, right? So to find the nth term, you take the first term and you add n minus 1 common differences. And so uh, in this particular example, we could have used this, right? So for example, a sub 2 would have been a sub 1 plus 2 minus 1 times 4. Wow, way to make it harder, right? Way, way, way to make it way harder. And so this would be, well, a sub 1 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 times 4 is 4. Oh, look at that, we get 7. Or we can just use some intuition and some thought and some intelligence and just add 4. <laughs> so that works too. Powerful formula though, um, you can use this for other applications and other exercises and stuff like that. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Check out my books, they're on Amazon, links in the description. Check out my courses on Udemy, those have tons of information. Links in description or on my website, mathsorcerer.com. As always, stay strong, my friends.